guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial i will be showing you how to make this uh, uh beautiful um, bike helmet or bicycle helmet in fusion 360 basically so this is my first time i'm making a helmet one of my subscribers basically commented and requested me to uh, make a tutorial on uh, a simple helmet without ill sculpting uh, of course anything is possible when you are working in uh, the sculpting workspace so i will be using the surface workspace and the solid workspace to make this helmet so as again all the dimension has been assumed and nothing is standard so i strongly recommend you don't guys you guys don't follow it uh, so let's see what we got here so basically first of all we will be making a loft basically we will be making a rough sketch of the surface of this uh, helmet so for that quick to quickly switch to workspace and click on select sketch and on the top plane or the bottom plane we will be making a sketch press l for line and switch on the construction mode and draw a line like this from origin remember uh, everything that i'm making with, with respect to the origin that has to be with respect to the origin because uh, basically our origin remains constant throughout the design so we, we always get a fixed point to make our a geometry symmetric so once done press d for dimension and give this a dimension of 89 mm and press enter now again go to circle switch off the construction mode and at this very point draw a circle like this and press d for dimension and the radius give the radius of this circle as let me just show you So give this a radius of 50 mm that means the dia will be 100 mm like this and then draw a line uh, switch on the construction mode again and draw a line from this point to this point and mirror this line select on this profile and mirror line would be this and press enter now press d for dimension and give the uh, the uh, what you call this uh, angle so angle between these two construction line would be 50 degrees and you may press enter now once done again press l for line and within the construction mode this time draw a line but on the right side of the point so again press d and the cent distance from this point to this point make it as 279 mm and you may press enter now once done again press c for circle and draw a circle switch off the construction mode like this and press d for diameter and right click on it and switch to radius and the radius would be 76 mm and you may press enter now now what i'm going to do is actually i need to make some correction here so just let me just delete this basically uh, draw a line from this point a vertical one a tangent to this circle uh, this line tangent to this circle and again draw a similar line from this point and the press d for dimension and give the dimension between two these two line let me just make this a vertical just delete this right now and again let me just draw a line from here uh, draw a horizontal line like this and press d for dimension and give the dimension between these two as 279 and you may press enter so that time the cd cd not cd uh, not to be 279 the outer distance between these two circle needs to have a 279 now once done what i'm going to do is uh, press a line again a line make a line like this and draw a line we, you don't have to make the distance let it be somewhere here only now press t for trim and i'm going to trim this part and this part and this part and this part so that only one curve here and one curve here uh, remains so now what i'm going to do is I'm going to go to create go to arc and a three point arc so i'm going to create a three point arc so for that what i'm going to do is 
start from this very point switch off the construction mode and on this point draw a line draw a arc like this without any dimension now make the uh, this uh, uh, arc tangent go to tangent constraint make it tangent to this curve and similarly make it tangent to this curve now it is automatically get constant you don't have to uh, need, do any dimension here now again click on mirror select on this line the mirror line would be this and press ok now the last thing go to modify go to break we are, we are what we are going to do is uh, just break these two curve into two parts again go to break break this uh, as you guys can see the red section represent this curve will be divided into two equal part so press here and we have two parts here now finish the sketch and go to isometric view so this is our first step now I am going to make another uh, sketch onto the front plane now onto the front plane just don't forget to save your drawing just in case now what I am going to do is I am going to make an, another curve that will be used as a pro as a rail profile for the loft command so for that what I am going to do is I am going to switch to line and make a construction horizontal line like this press dimension and from the origin give the height of this line as 101 mm so 101 mm now i am going to make a arc go to arc go to center point arc and make a arc uh, like this and switch off the construction mode so make a r like this and press d for dimension and give the radius of this arc as 25 mm now uh, click on uh, coincident point and click on this point and make it coincident to this point and the make the center of the R coincident to this line so now the only thing you can control is the R here so leave it like that only uh, we will get back it to, it to in a uh, some time so again go to R here click on tangent arc and similarly repeat the same step here press d for dimension give this a radius of 63 and press enter uh, this will be a bigger arc so 63 press uh, coincident constraint make it coincident to the farthest most point and the center coincident to this line now leave it like this again go to create go to arc go to three point arc from join this point this point and a point on this line like this now go to tangent give tangent constraint between these two and give tangent constraint between these two and give tangent constraint between these two so we have got one two three tangent constraint and our arc is completed now you may finish the sketch now we have another profile now what I'm going to do is as if, if I just switch on the origin plane what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a plane an offset plane so switch on this workspace and offset it towards the uh, the outer portion here and the offset distance would be let's say it 25 so just switch off the origin plane like this and again click on the offset plane you have just created now what I'm going to do is again I'm going to join a curve like this before like this but before that what I'm going to I, I will going to tell you that we have offsetted the plane so what I'm going to do is first of all I am going to make the intersection of the uh, intersection point of these uh, curve which have, we have already drawn onto the our current plane so that we get the point on which we are going to make the crane so go to create go to project and go to intersection curve and the curve would be this and this the curve would be this one uh, you can select um, one at a time and the faces faces go to construction and select the plane that you have created and press ok now you have got a line that represents the intersection point of that plane again go to create go to project intersection curve define this line select this plane and ok 
now repeat the same step uh, select this curve select this face and press ok now we have got one here two and three intersection point that represent where these curves actually represent uh, uh, with, intersects with the plane so now what i'm going to do is press p for project and project uh, now the next step is uh, select this construction line and you guys can see the project the icon for the project command is here so just delete this so it may be isolated repeat the same step for this line and for this very line also now once done press p for project select this line and project it on the current plane and press ok now repeat the press p and select on this line and uh, press enter now if on the switch off the no 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 one more thing just p project p and this line and ok now you can switch off the first twist sketch and of course the construction plane we don't need that now what i'm going to do is press t for trim select this line so did we get a point intersection point here and similarly at this very point delete this and delete this so we got one point and two point and three point now what i'm going to do is press press l for line and draw a horizontal line of course the construction like this and repeat the line in the construction mode from this point and draw a vertical line like this so make it construction like this and don't forget to save your drawing now once done go to create go to arc go to three point arc from this point select this point select this point and this point like this again go to tangent give the tangent relationship between this line and just make sure this undo it uh, right click on this point and make it fix so that it don't get move upward again go to constraint make this tangent to this okay 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 we need to fix this point as well as so click on this point and this point right click on it and create fix go to uh, just make this line construction tangent relationship between these two and i think this is already uh, in tangent so you may finish the sketch now uh, one more thing we need to make this uh, const in construction mode also so right click on it go to edit select this line this line this line and all any unnecessary line except for this curve and make them uh, in construction and you will finish this sketch now we have a one beautiful curve here so switch on the first two sketch as well as on this one also so not now what i'm going to do is go to surface go to create and go to locked now click on the first profile what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my first profile so first profile would be this sketch this one and of course this curve now once your first profile is selected go to again click on the plus marking down define the second object so second my profile would be this this and of course this curve now once done again click on the plus icon and this time our last geometry would be this curve this line and this line now uh, all our three our curve are get got connected now i'm going to make the rail for the rail click on this arrow and this is going to be our rail and once done you may press ok now we have got our beautiful uh, curve here now go to extrude select this line and extrude it up to a distance of let's say 100 mm let's say minus 100 and press ok now go to stitch select this command and this and press ok what it will do it will join the uh, 
face now again go to patch and fill on this body now once done click on patch uh, stretch command and select these two and as you press ok it will automatically convert your surface body into the solid body now we have a beautiful solid body here you can right click on it and create component like this and to give the automatic color press shift and n and it will automatically assign a beautiful color to fusion uh, to your body now again switch to isometric view now click on plane and select on the very first plane now i am going to make some arc which will be uh, which we will be using to make it uh, to make the profile cut so just follow my step i will be constantly making the use of three point arc here so please make sure to follow each and every step that we have here so for that so for that press p for project and project this outer edge here this one here and this here and press ok now once projected go to three point arc select from this point and arc here so basically uh, let's see go to arc and go to center point arc so center point would be this and make a arc like this you don't have to make any dimension until now so press d for dimension give the radius of this arc as 44 mm press d for dimension from this point to the topmost point okay so go to coincident command select on this point make it coincident like this again go to coincident make the point coincident to this point and bring it downwards like this you can still move this point here and press t let me just switch off the body so that it will be more clear to you so from this point to this point give this dimension as 32 mm and the leave leave this point like this only now for the for another arc again go to circle go to arc go to three point arc and from this point to this point draw a arc like this again press d and the dimension from the center to this this time it would be 28 and press enter and the radius would be 43 mm and we will be making a tangent relation between these two now once done again click on this point and this point and draw or arc like this now the dia for the dia so for that press t for dimension and from this point to this point uh, give the dimension as the horizontal dimension as 195 mm like this and the radius would be 185 and press enter now leave the arc to this point somewhere here only you don't need to make the arc bigger again go to three point arc select this point this point and make a arc like this press d for dimension select this point and this point and give the dimension from here as 54 mm like this and the radius here would be 30 m1 mm and press ok now again go to tangent give the tangent relationship between these two and give the tangent relationship between these two so this is how your arc will look like uh, leave the leave this point somewhere here only now again go to again click on this point and this point and draw a light like this give the tangent relationship between these two the point and the distance between these two line would be 12.5 press enter and the radius the radius of this would be let me just check it once okay so for this you don't need to provide the radius just delete it now what i'm going to do is press l for line from this very point draw a horizontal construction line like this press d for dimension and give the dimension from top as 12 mm now click on a three point arc select this point this point switch of the construction mode and draw a three point arc 
like this now again go to tangent give the tangent relationship like this and give the tangent relationship with this line so this is how your uh, so you don't have to define the radius of this arc not, neither for this arc because it will automatically get aligned now once your profile is completed what i'm going to do is switch back your body and press l for line select this point and draw a outer box that will uh, complete your uh, uh, that will uh, that, uh, close your sketch so we will be uh, making a hole through it now go to solid go to extrude and select this profile and extrude cut the helmet at symmetric and press ok now this is how your helmet will look like now again go to modify go to shell command select the face at the bottom and the thickness inside would be 15 mm make it 15 wait for your system to compute all the geometric necessary for this shell and it will take some time and you may press ok now Again, wait for your system to compute and it, what it will be, it will just remove the area and it will make your uh, helmet uh, uh, look like a helmet. So, we have a hollow space here. Now, what I am going to do is, again, go to side sketch, go to the and we will making some sketch here also. So, first of all, we will make a circle here. So, make a circle like this. Press D for dimension, give the dia of this circle as 26 mm and from the origin point to this point the, hurry, the vertical, make the vertical distance as 30 mm like somewhere like this. Now again go to create, go to, uh, go to slot, go to center to center slot and on this line, the origin line, uh, make a slot like this. You don't have to make a dimension right now. So you may just switch off the body just to make sure everything looks clear and cut. Now I am going to make this slot midpoint to the origin. So for that we have a let me just show you midpoint constraint. So make this line midpoint to this line and press D for dimension and from this point to this point the distance would be 60 mm like this and the distance between these two line either or the dia of the line would be 6 uh, it would be a very thin one and the distance from this point to this point this is going to be 16 and once done you may finish the sketch switch on your body and click on this face and this slot and make an extrude cut of symmetric uh, onto your uh, helmet now once done we, we need to give the radius here that will we will do in the later part of the video now again what i'm going to do is click on your current sketch and on the very first plane create an sketch go to create go to project and click on uh, intersect and intersect this filter would be body and select this body as an intersection plane and you may press enter now what we will get is a curve that represents the intersection of this body on this very plane finish the sketch now the next thing what i'm going to do is to make a sweep so for the sweep what i'm going to do is click on your origin plane switch off the body I am going to make an offset plane offset the bottom plane downwards by a distance of switch on the construction switch off the first plane by a const by a distance of 32 mm so I am going downwards so distance would be 32 like this switch off the origin plane and on this plane the plane you have just created create an sketch click on your component what I am going to do is press L for line and from origin from origin draw a horizontal line of course it would be the construction one like this now I am going to press L for line 
this time notch the construction from this point draw a line like this and join it like this now mirror these line so the object would be this line this line and the mirror line would be the construction line we have just made and press ok press d for dimension and give the angular dimension between these two line as 100 degrees make it 100 degrees like this and from this point to this point the distance would be 10 mm and leave the rest of the profile like this only go to finish this go to your finished profile switch on to isometric view now i am going to make a shift click go to create click on shift command the profile would be this and the path would be this line okay. just switch up the uh, chain selection just don't click on the chain uh, what uh, so just to uncheck the chain selection what chain selection does is it automatically gets all the line uh, which are connected to that particular point so just uncheck the chain selection and manually select these lines now once done select all these line like this and press ok now what it will do it will sometime will not uh, cut the whole profile so you just have to manually extrude cut the rest of the profile like here and here the other way was to increase the path so either guys which you like you can do now what i'm going to do is i will be making some radius go to fillet and for fillet command select on this circle and this one and this one and the inner one of course and this same uh, thing will happen on this profile also and the radius would be 5 mm and press enter so this is how your profile will look like now repeat the step for this profile also click on fillet select this line and this line make the radius as 5 and press ok ok will be some error is taking so we need to fix it Okay, something is uh, stopping us from the radius. So leave it like that. We will get back to into the later part of the video. So just switch off the sketch. What is this is? Okay, 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 okay. We have got a very thin body here. Maybe that's why we are getting. Uh, the uh, not getting the radius so that for that just click on the top view and press P for project select the inner line like this and the inner one like this Uh, what I am going to do, I am going to make the extrude cut so that we can get rid of that extra face. Press L for line, this point, this point and join this point and finish the sketch and go to extrude and extrude it downwards like this. So we will get rid of the body. Now let me just try again once more. If thing is working okay something is wrong maybe some faces are wrong we need to uh, provide the radius so we will get back it to into the later part of the video now again go to create a sketch and on the front plane 
uh, press L for line, draw one a line like this. You can switch off the body for a better view. Again, draw one line vertical downwards and make these two line construction and another line like this and the distance the angular distance between this line and this line would be 55 mm like this make do not make this construction and finish the sketch now once done click uh, show your body now i think i am having some graphics issue here so just switch back the body and press m for move command and select the object as a sketch object and select this point and you may now and bring it upwards like i am doing here up to a distance so what i am going to doing i am making this uh, 2d line in a 3d plane so just move that our point up to a distance of 60 mm and press OK. Now once done, what I'm going to do is go to construction plane and go to plane along path and select this line at the plane and drag it up to the very first point and press OK. Now go to sketch, select on this plane and now we will be making some sketch on this very plane. Now for that go to create, go to slot and this time the slot would be the center point arc slot. Draw a slot like this. We don't have to provide any dimension now. And now once done press D for dimension. Give the radius of this slot as 76. Make it 76 and the center distance between this point and this point this would be 65 again go to constraint go to midpoint select this line and make it midpoint to this point now you are free to rotate this uh, uh, the point here so just undo it we need to modify one more dimension and that is the radius so press D for dimension for this give the radius as 10 mm now select on any point and rotate it and the, the rotation is not fixed basically it's a design in the helmet so you guys can place it in any desired location suppose that let, let it be like this uh, I think this seems to be okay and you may finish the sketch now again go to extrude select on this line the gyration would be symmetric and extrude cut through it and press ok now go to fillet select this line and this line the radius would be 5 and press ok now once done I'm going to mirror this select go to create go to mirror and the mirror command would be feature select the feature extrude cut and the fillet from the timeline and mirror plane would be our oh, default uh, front plane like this uh, again we will be making repeat the mirror command this time the feature would be this one this one and the mirror command and the center plane would be this one and press ok wait for, sort of for your system to respond and this is how your helmet would look like now i need to give some radius in the leftover zone uh, so basically guys what i have edited something remember the sketch we have pre created so just go back to that sketch and remember the sketch here so give the radius of r here and just finish the sketch for now now uh, uh, what I have did is I have given a radius of 3 on this outer edge as well as on the inner edge. As far as the radius of this edge is concerned, as you guys can see this one and this one, I think while making the swift cut, I have I, I have done I have done something wrong. That's why it is not taking the radius. So 
basically radius is not that much bigger thing in fusion 360 i i might be missing some small faces that why the radius is not taking here so i think you guys can handle that it's simply a radius here rest of the profile of the helmet is completed the remaining thing that are left is to uh, color the helmet so you guys can again click on shift and 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 go to appearance by clicking the a but a button and you may make the uh, your helmet look like anything you want uh, so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day